we've looked at touch technology is you need an interactive medium, right? There's got to be something that is clear, kind of thin and strong that device users are making. And they put this cover material, uh, Gorilla Glass, between the user and the display. So to have that, you want a, a cover that is not going to scratch so that you can kind of see through and still use your touch device and see your display. So on one of these, we've got plastic, which has been the incumbent material when we came into the marketplace, and the other we've got grill glass. So let's just take a common key and see what, what, what happens on the surface. If we just try to really scratch it up. Oh, you can, can you hear that? You can just hear that go down and just grab and tear at the surface of that. So this is a plastic that's in the, in the marketplace today. And then here's grill glass. You can't even hear it, right? You can barely hear that it's catching or grabbing, right? And just so you know that I am pushing hard on it, so you can see the stand moving, right? So I'm not faking it out here. So that would be a key. If you zoom in, I don't see any scratch, any blemish on the surface there. So, or you could just take like a screw, right? That, that may be in your purse, in your, in your pocket. Um, and there again, I could probably write my name in the plastic, right? It, you, it's, it scratches right up. Do that to Gorilla Glass, very hard to cause a, a scratch. Uh, same kind of effect. So this, this right off the bat, when we take these demos to customers, and, and let them take a key and actually have at it on, on plastic versus grill glass, um, it gets their attention right away. So having these physical demos that we are able to take to customers and let them try and experiment with plastic versus Gorilla and ball drop like you saw, it really has a big impact and that's been part of what's been able to, to, to move us along and be on over 80 devices and having 50, over 50 million models in the field and use today.